Hey everyone, uh, Jason from TechCraver.com here. Wanted to walk you through some pretty cool functionality that this Motorola Devour from Verizon Wireless just got today. Um, as of midnight Pacific, that's my time zone, I was able to download Skype Mobile, which makes it makes me able to do Skype calls, Skype IMs on my mobile phone. So I already downloaded and installed the app from the Android market. I uh, loaded the app for the first time, and it's as you can see, it's asking me for my username and password. I'll go ahead and hit sign in and it'll log on to the uh, 3G network and then log on to Skype. Um, so it's logging in right now using a 3G network. And as you can see, it's loading up all my Skype contacts. And what's really cool about this app is it can it goes into your normal phone book. And so that when, when I go into my native phone book on the phone, it's supposed to load up my Skype contacts for me. Um, what's really cool is you can see all my people that are online right now. Um, you can see that if I click this, Click, click someone's name, I can either call them, send them an IM, or even show their profile. Um, what's pretty unique about this is that the uh, voice calls go actually go over the cellular network, but all other activities such as IMs and presence setting uh, actually use the data network. Um, you can see also events, so you can see like a group chat that I'm on, all your chats will queue up here, and also you can call a phone. So it shows, it's kind of hard to see right now, but it's showing me that I've got $5.70 uh, Skype credit, um, and this will allow me to use this Skype application to make international phone calls. So therefore, if I want to call the UK or Sweden or wherever I might be calling, I can use the Skype app, not, uh, not having to pay Verizon's extraordinary international calling rates. They're kind of taking a hit on the uh, international calling, but they're hoping that more people will buy Verizon phones. Oops, went dark. More people will buy Verizon phones with data plans so that they can run Skype. Uh, one thing to note is that this will run on Verizon's uh, smartphones. You've got to have a data plan to activate it. It'll run on Android phones and their Blackberries. What they've, they've got a few Blackberries that they're supporting. Actually, it's most of the Blackberries that, if you bought your Blackberry in the last two years. But um, it's pretty cool. So it runs on the Storm, runs on the Curve, and then now on that's the older ones, and then now, now it runs on the Storm too. And then all three of their Verizon uh, Android handsets, including the Devour, the Droid, and the, the Droid Eris. Uh, I wanted to show you the functionality. I wanted to go into my native phone book, and it should show people that are Skype contacts. Yeah, so right here, here's Andreas. So I can, if I want to, send him a Skype call directly from there. Pretty cool. So. Uh, again, this is Jason Harris from TechCraver.com. Wanted to show you this quick video of the Skype client for um, Verizon Wireless. And as you can see, what's really cool, I just, sorry, I just showed, wanted to show you something. Skype is running in the background this whole time. So even though I'm, I can get out of Skype and go and now browse the web or whatever, people can still send me IMs. You can, in the upper left hand corner, you can't really see it too well, but it shows me that I have one Skype message waiting for me. It's something your iPhone can't do. Um, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, visit me at techcraver.com, C-A-R-V-E-R.com, like a fat man craves candy.